Jason said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other? <laughs> So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift, saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? I just need to pick up something. Out of my way. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in and pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help? All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself? Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. I get the message. That ought to do it. Let's go round them up. Let's 
Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? No. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be le learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Those are up, boys. Here you go. <laughs> Easy now. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Howdy. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Bo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And we're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? <sighs> You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever 
he may be. Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here.
Hello, Arthur. Find someplace sensible. So, we moving? Yeah. We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Hey, Javier. That's a healthy-looking horse. Take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. They carry on along this trail. Now, I was saying that we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe this looks like our feather Charles quick cut him free and let's get out of here I see three You get the hell away from him! This is it! Oh! 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 Ah! What do we do? This ain't even our goddamn fight! Ah! That all of them? Doesn't look like it! Take him down! Well, that's the 
Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Ja, yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. How you doing, old friend? Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite 
some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Uh, uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, 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 arrest me now. Get, get off. Go on. Don't lose him. You're only making it worse. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. 
Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of the rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I... What I'm... is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Enough, <laughs> both of you! 
Well, come with me then. You want to head out? <laughs> I love her. I'm in love with her. <laughs> out there, run with the man. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Okay, bad Good. bitch. Okay, bad bitch. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Oh. Are you coming with me then, woman? I want to be her. So no, I want to in for chopping vegetables to shop in. Shut your goddamn mouth. I wanted to shave. Can I get off this? Can I get off this for a second? I'm up. You cool down then, yet? Yeah. I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's the letter? Princess. Are you reading this mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some I have <laughs> been for some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. <laughs> blah blah blah. It's boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Oh, shit. Jesus. I'm Since we that last fucking... corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> I have no you idea what they're even talking even about. Talk to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> And what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alien. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hey, what the fuck? Here. Oh my god. Stupid hoe. <laughs> okay, I don't know what. It's not. Okay. okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. Jesus. Oh, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So, you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Okay. Jesus, there's a woman. Honestly, me too, though. I'd be the same. I'd be the same. Hey. Shut up, you fucking hoe. No. Hey, send mail. Send mail? Right. Yeah. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Hey, Bounty. I didn't even remember her name. I'm trying. Okay, the outfit. When did she get new clothes? Sadie. I see. Mr. Harper was selling whiskey last week. Said it was for medical purposes only. Here. Medical purposes. Take after yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you get everything? I think so. And some 
New clothes, I see. Don't stunt. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. <laughs> That's me, yeah, though. <laughs> my feminine you ass. Sure look the part now. That would be me. <laughs> Actually, no, it's fine. I, have you know, I will rob and kill people in a dress. Before. I'm a bad person. <laughs> Well, I'm kidding. My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. Right. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill oh, whoa, whoa. Girl. Who is this? Please. You gonna... Hey there! Oh, God. Hey. What, uh... What you folks up oh, to? Oh, my Just God. Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Oh, Hold on. That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Sadie, what the fuck? Go, go, go. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Go. Oh, ah. I don't want to shoot them, bro. He's good at all of us. Blow her pie brain. New pair of pants. Think you're landing records? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Oh, okay, Sadie. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your way. Oh. What the fuck is happening? Help! 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 What? 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 Okay. I'm fucking hard. Oh, what the fuck? Who's... Oh my god. Arthur, reload faster, you fucking... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Sadie is something else. You are enjoying this far too much. There, far see? too much. Not many still standing now. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. Nice shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. No, okay. pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Oh, I'm driving now. Okay. Help! Show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it yeah. don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? We just fucking maybe. got here. If he asks. Please. But maybe not. Careful now. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bones. Not a chance. Oh, I can write in the journal? What the fuck? I didn't even know that. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I Nobody's gonna notice the bullet holes there. in the fucking yes, wagon. The, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. That shopping? Yes, that shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got on. this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay. Miss the only straight I people I'll ever accept. And <laughs> <nice> Honestly. <laughs> oh, uh, Hopefully just talk to them. 
and they're not gonna shoot me. What are you? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right, have uh. a word, but I ain't got the time to help. You. Obliged. Oh, this guy. I see. Why is the music like that? Huh. Oh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you mm -hmm. help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, mm -hmm. we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay. Okay. Oh, look That's out fine. They're worse with strangers than ours are. I just go in the front door or what? Go across the water, it's fine. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Penelope. Totally not like a sketchy guy coming in your fucking property and. <laughs> hey. Don't be scared. Or Are anything. you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The, the rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Ohio. You ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe a bit. But yeah. here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Jesus, this is not the wing. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, why did it all turn red? Oh, why did it all turn red? Okay, okay. Uh, hey, you. How do you think you're doing here? Bro, I'm leaving. Oh, Come on. Don't yeah, thank you. Ho.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. <laughs> Arthur. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. We'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm oh, afraid Jesus. I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Oh, Just God, how many are... Okay, no this is the whole mission. Letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Right now? I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Oh, I see, I see. I was confused for a second. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. Yeah, this is no they would. Matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements okay mostly my family penelope i beg you i'll tell you what your friend here can drive the wagon for us it'll oh, allow Jesus. us to shout all the louder miss calhoun miss calhoun i'm responsible for all these women what the fuck well olive calhoun Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, we come on. Our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our Calls. He's a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty okay. reign. <laughs> we must wise housekeepers and daughters. We cook the food now, and now. we fetch the water. Take us down we Main Street, right through glory. town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very uh, good. You're not just Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's huh. about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. <laughs> oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant you. Yep. Yep. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Hell is going on! Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot. Jesus Christ. There's too much. Too much in my ears right now. Too much in my ears right now, please. God damn. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, 
equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Oh. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Oh, oh, keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this page. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Shh. What are you doing here? Listening. I oh, suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always was. Bo, little... where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Or what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic uh -huh. you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they get twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. Okay. It's an old Turn my headphones back up. No one goes to. But a land up. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Mm. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Okay, cool. Money, money, money. How long have I been recording? Okay, wait. Let me see how long I've been recording. 